Let's go. Let's do it. So, so the first uh, avenue, guys, is what, Kazi? The first avenue is becoming, <laughs> I love this, <laughs> becoming a teacher. So you can actually, with whatever skills you have learned, you can actually teach that to other people and you can make an income from doing that. Like for example, okay, this is the craziest example, but you guys see, we're just teaching you guys. We're teachers, right? Sunny and I are teachers. Sunny and I are not just like going crazy working at a job right now. We're actually taking the time out to actually teach you guys. And yep. we're even getting donations and we're getting paid to teach literally. And so what it looks like at a one-on-one -on -one basis and is you can actually post your ad on Craigslist and you could post your ads on Kijiji if you're in Canada or you can post your ad on really whatever platform you want and somebody can pay you for you to teach them. And you don't have to be so far ahead of them. You could just be a little bit ahead of them and charge them for uh, teaching them. Yeah, exactly. And guys, this is one. This is one that I really emphasize in our course a lot with our students because this is the one that you can literally start doing even a week after you start learning how to code. Like, if you're a week ahead of somebody who's never coded before. You are now you are now in a position to provide a week's worth of value to somebody who's never coded before. So you I can actually that. go ahead and start teaching that, right? And then only from that day onwards, that value only grows, right? So if you're immediately going to grow your income source, and you and the the earlier you start, the better. And it is uncomfortable, but like when you just jump in, dive into the deep end, you're going to go ahead and build that skill, and it's always going to be a skill that you can turn to to make some more income. Yep. Now, this is one way that we'd like to show it to you guys, okay? So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. So let's go ahead here and take a look at this, what Sunny is saying, right? So Sunny, you're saying yep. if I have, like literally if you think about levels, right? Let's say you're a complete beginner and you're at level one. You yep. just know how to write hello world. And then yep. here is level 10 where you use server side rendering for fucking breakfast. Um, <laughs> so in between all these levels, and then let's say you're doing JavaScript, you don't have to, you can use any language, Python or, you know, go, it doesn't matter, but let's just use JavaScript for now. And if you are a level one, can you teach yep. another level one? Probably not really, right? If all you know is hello world, you can't really teach much to another person who also knows hello world. So if you are yep. over here, and actually, let's do this, right? So they're like, let's say there's two people here and here. Yep. And um, you're like, let's say you're on the left-hand side and you're teaching this person, okay? Yep. And this is over here. I'm just going to put a little mark and that's going to say that's you, okay? Yeah. Now, if you're teaching this person, you're gonna they're going to be paying you in return. Yep. And... Um, if you're a level two, it's very possible that you can actually be teaching somebody who's a level one. Yep, one hundred percent. Right, because you can, you can teach them. So, like for example, what does a level two mean? Maybe you have put in at level two. Maybe you have put in like fifty hours into coding. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you know how to write functions, loops, data types. You yes. you know that stuff in level two. Yeah, you know what an array is. You know what, a, you know, so for example, right now you can charge this person. You could charge them maybe like $10 an hour or $15 an hour. So I'll just put like, you know, $10 at that point. You can charge them an hour. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you get up to level three and you can teach a level two, you're going to get paid more for that. Yeah. Does that make sense? So now you might actually make maybe more than ten dollars an hour. Maybe now you make you now you can make like eighteen dollars an hour teaching. I just want to stress here, guys. Notice now that your pool of potential students has also grown. Now you can target level two and level one students. Yep, you can target exactly. That's important. So you could target both. That's huge. That's a really yep. good point. And then what happens when you're a level four? or you're a level five, let's say, right? If you're a level five, yeah. well, what does a level five look like? I think a level five is somebody who has put multiple, uh, you know, they've like followed of all of our YouTube videos and made all the clones. Yeah, exactly. You know, they understand like how APIs work. They understand yeah. how 
uh, you know, how to put together like their portfolio and they have multiple projects to show for it. Maybe they don't have real world coding experience where they're getting paid at a job, but other than that, they're like pretty decent. Yeah. Right. And that might actually look like what, maybe 500 hours of coding or maybe, yeah, 500 yeah. to like 700 hours of coding. Yeah. M might actually put you here. And now at this level, you guys, you guys can actually charge a pretty significant amount of income. So if you're a level five and you're teaching level fours and stuff like that, it's very possible for you guys to make, at least in US, you know, for your own countries, you would have to do the rough translation. But in US, it's very possible for you to charge $35 an hour or even $50 an hour. And you have experience yeah. with teaching people, right, Sonny? I definitely do, yeah. So even literally, and guys, there's no age limit when you come to teaching. I've taught people who are like much older than me, and I've also taught a student who is young as 12 years old who landed his own client, which is insane. Like that's crazy. so, it really does not matter um, what age or or what experience you're at. You can teach. Yeah. Yep. And so, if you are teaching other people, you just have to do the math, right? So at thirty-five dollars an hour. You know, I use teaching to make well over $100,000 a year. Now, of course, everybody's going to be at a different level, different like how much effort you put into it, how much time you put into it. But a few of these clients that are paying you either $35 or $50 an hour, it the math to getting to $1,000 a month, like that's the first type of math you should do. So let's figure out, Sunny, how yep. long would it take? Like what it would take for us with at fifty dollars an hour to get to making thousand dollars a month. Okay, so okay. if I'm making fifty, generally when you have students, they'll do about two hour long sessions. How long are your sessions with your students? They're one hour, Tip thirty minutes. Yeah, typically I start with one hour because it's quite an intense yep. session, and then I'll eventually see and if they can handle a two hour session, so max let's say two hours. I, yeah, I don't push more than two. Yeah, okay, because they get fried in that time. So let's say yeah. you're doing one hour sessions. Yeah. At fifty dollars an hour. Yeah. Right. Uh, you're doing one session per week. Yeah. Okay. So one x per week that turns out to be four sessions per month, right? Yeah. And uh, how much is that, you guys? If you have one student at, you know, you're doing four times a month at $50 an hour, in one month, that is $200. $200. Yeah. Now, what happens if, now what do we need to do, Sonny, to get up to, with the same exact math, to get up to 1,000 a month. We just need to land five students. Yep. Guys. That's it. So or increase, or, or increase the frequency of a student, but landing five students is gonna get you that, yeah. Yep, so you can go both ways. It's important what Sunny just said. So you guys can either in, it's really hard to increase the price at 50. I mean, it's hard to go with that student to 75 or 100 to double the price would be yep. tough, but what might be a lot more doable is maybe Sunny can start to have two hour lessons with those students. And now that student will pay Sunny $400 a month. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Or Sunny can get a total of five students uh, for, they each do four X a month sessions at $50 an hour. And now that's a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. And guys, something I want to stress at this point, when you get very good at, having a lot more students and uh, you can actually get to a point where you can do group sessions. So if you find that you're running out of time or you find that you're getting like kind of intense with the timings, yeah. you can go ahead and run. I wouldn't recommend having large groups because you, you lose the one to one, but yeah. you can go definitely go ahead and actually go ahead and split like and maybe and have a group of three, group of four. Yeah. Um, and, do and you can even give them a discount, right? So for example, if you were charging them 50, maybe you charge them 40 per session. Yeah. But now it's a group session. So in one hour, instead of you making fifty dollars, now with three students you make a hundred and twenty in an hour of your time. Exactly. And it's a good deal for all of them. Yeah, it's actually a better deal than them doing one on one if they do because a group, they you know? they all become a part of the group too, and they can all yeah. slack each other. They can all message each other. So that's powerful. 
Definitely. So I think that one of the best ways for almost all of you guys, including the ones who have a job, I think is like, guys, what would you do if you had extra thousand dollars a month coming in? Start dropping it in the comments below. You know, what Love would that. the thousand dollars a month allow you to do? Would it allow you to, you know, pay your bills? Would it, would you get Netflix membership? Would you get membership to, I know gyms are closed, but maybe would you get like calisthenics equipment for your home and then do workouts there? Would you get a course that you've always wanted? Would you, I don't know, pay for your parents' rent and help out? What would a thousand dollars a month allow you to do? I think it's important to have those goals because then you will actually want to do more and achieve more. Other than rather than just exactly. like going through life like a zombie. Yeah. And these guys, it's really important to determine what your why is. Like, why are you doing this stuff? Like, why are you teaching? Why are you even here right now trying to learn how to code? Like, remember that because that is going to give you that consistent discipline and motivation to carry on when times get tough. Yeah. Now, this is the math to getting to a thousand a month, you guys. It's not that freaking hard. Now, to go to 2000 a month, what do you need to do? And guys, here's a better way to look at it. This is not 1000 a month. This is actually, let me write that up top, at the top left. This is actually five students is 12000 uh, a year. Yeah. That's the right way to look at it. It's actually 5000 or it's actually 12000 a year. Yeah. And if you guys want to get to 24,000 a year or 2,000 a month, 10 students. And you guys can see the growth here from five to 10 students isn't actually a lot, but the growth in your income is significant. Yes, right? very significant. So this is something you guys can do guys so easily. Like their Instagram, you can go and Instagram people on coding channels and start having conversations with them and say, I will help you for free for 60 minutes in coding. I will jump on a video call with you and help you. You can go into a Facebook group and ask people if they need help and give them a free session. And then at the end of the free session, say, hey, you know, I'm glad you enjoyed this. If you want me to help you more, I'm, um, you know, I charge $25 an hour. I charge $10 an hour. I charge $35 an hour, $50 an hour, something like that. Does that make sense, you guys? You guys can literally do this today. You don't need to wait for anything. You don't need to wait for anyone. So this yeah. is possible for you guys. Now, there are online tons of amazing platforms where you guys can go and start teaching. So... I uh, will give you more ways of making income, but this is actually one really big pillar of having your income come in. There are important platforms that you guys should know and write down. So one is takelessons.com and the other one is wiseant.com. So these are really good platforms look in the US that are great for finding lessons. But if you're not in the US, look at people per hour, look at fiverr.com. Yeah. And um, also, you guys have Facebook and Instagram, which is worldwide, right? You can go into groups, programming groups, and help people there. And you can get clients from there very easily. Okay, we have some students try this strategy, and they literally have clients the next day.